Hi guys, welcome to a brand new series that I'm doing where I want to show you guys loads of different YouTube tech tips. So these will be simple to more in-depth ones, all based around helping your channel and yourself keep in control of it. So the very first tip I want to show you guys is how you can keep a track of your live YouTube subscribers. So by this, you could be a huge channel or a short channel and you want to see if your YouTube subscriber account has actually grown. And this is a way of actually doing it without having to log into your channel using your mobile phone. So the first thing you want to do to be able to do this is open your browser and then go to a website called www.livecounts.x10host.com. Now, this site you can use to track anyone if it's your favorite YouTuber or even yourself. So let's say we wanted to tr track our favorite YouTuber. So for this, we all you need to do is type forward slash question mark type channel all in lowercase followed by the equal sign and then the name of your favorite YouTuber. So for example, we can use PewDiePie. So if we type that in, hit enter. There you go, it loads his live subscribe account and you can see he's just lost one. But then we'll probably see this will go up again in a second. That seems to be his trend. There you go. He's just... <laughs> okay, there you go. You can see he lost one and then just gained seven. So this works for exactly the same. So for your own channel, if you don't have a custom URL, like, for example, PewDiePie, then what you want to do is log in and then go to my channel. And then in the web address, you'll see it's got youtube.com slash channel slash... And then this last bit here is your channel ID that's randomly generated by YouTube. So you want to copy that, go back to the main website, and then just replace the name part. So again, question mark, channel lowercase, equals, and then just paste in your unique identifier. And you see this comes up with my one, TLE TV. I'm currently on 175 subscribers. Now, what you can do if you are over 100 subscribers and you have the custom name, then of course you can type this in. So mine is purely TV. I can type that in and it'll take me straight for that. That's it. That's all there is to it. It's nice and straightforward. There are other ways of tracking this. There's other websites that you can do. But this is the quickest and easiest way that I found, especially, for example, when people wanted to do live streams of the Fine Brothers when they had their sort of that whole thing where you know they were trying to do the licensing and they were losing a lot of subscribers people were doing live streams using this website to essentially just show people how quickly they were losing subscribers and it's a really good way of checking anyone's kind of live traffic how how it's building so that's it for today guys until next time thanks for watching take care cheers